seamstresses at work in the central Nigerian city of Mina. They're not sewing clothes here. They're making sanitary pads. Olivia Onyemaobi is the founder of Pad Up Creations. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's complete. Thank you. Just check it out. She began sewing sanitary pads from fabric in 2016. They're washable and reusable. Each pad is made up of three layers. This is what absorbs the blood. Then we cover it with this, and then this one at the back to stop the blood from leaking. So they do the cutting, everything. You can see a whole lot of work. The pads can be reused for up to a year. With this, every woman is good to go. You don't need to start thinking about how to, you know, raise money to buy uh, sanitary parts on monthly basis. And then most girls too will have to be in school during their menstrual days. They don't need to, you know, start bothering their parents or all that for or sanitary parts. In Nigeria, many girls drop out of school because they can't afford sanitary pads and stay at home when they're menstruating. It's a serious problem, and one that makes girls vulnerable to exploitation. There are men who demand sex in return for buying them the sanitary pads they desperately need. Reusable pads could be a solution as they don't require a monthly investment. They're also better for the environment because they reduce waste. Thousands of women are already using Olivia Onyemaobi's washable pads. We have uh, been able to impart uh, the life of over 100,000 Nigerian girls and women. So we have reduced the barrier, bearing of waste on, uh, on the earth by 100,000. We have also reduced uh, emission of gas into the atmosphere by 100,000. So uh, I think uh, in the ecosystem, we have also played our own impact by reducing all these in this dimension. The pads also provide business opportunities to women outside the company. They're sold by female vendors who make a small profit on them. Our minimum order quantity is two cartons, just two of this. It's good to go to start a business for a woman. So they get it, and then some of them resell it. Uh, a kit of it is seven fifty. Some of them resell it at one thousand, depending on how the market is. You know. Olivia Onyema Obi left a secure and well-paid job at a bank in order to start her business and realize her dream of making a social and an environmental impact. Nigeria is yet, is yet to embrace the message of the ecosystem. We need to, you know, keep conversing, keep educating people, and then keep reorienting them so that they can embrace it. Like in my house, I have done that so well. We don't waste water. So they know that wasting of water, there will be a time there will be no water. So if we keep educating, keep reiterating it, people will come to understand that this is not really safe. Her business looks promising. She employs 51 staff members and production is expanding. By next year, Olivia Onyemaobi hopes to supply half a million girls with her reusable sanitary pads.